This is pre-calculus chapter 11. Lesson three, parabolas. Okay, now you are accustomed to seeing this as a quadratic, right? It's a little different. All right, so here's the key difference. If x is squared and y is to the first power, um, that's what you're used to set seeing, right? It's going to open up or it's going to open down. So this is what you're accustomed to seeing. Y equals X squared plus 2X minus 3. That, yeah. That's what you're accustomed to seeing. When Y is to the first power and, and X is to the second power, okay? All right, so just thinking about this. Um, a little further. When that is the case, your vertex is going to lie on the y-axis, right? Because it opens up or down. Up or down. All right, everybody go to page 711. 700, I know, sounds like the store, huh? <laughs> so, so I'm getting all of this from 711. All right, so I'm going to just do one parabola. But you know it opens up or down. <clears throat> Look at the equation. It's x squared equals 4, this p value, and y. <clears throat> Um, the p value is is like your focus point. Well, it's actually it's actually has two pieces to it. So so with a with a parabola, normally with the ellipse and the hyperbola, we had two focus points, right? Mm -hmm. But with the parabola, we only have one, but it will lie inside the curve. All right, so P determines <clears throat> our focus point. So in this case, because our focus point is going to be on the Y axis, the focus coordinate point, X will be zero. The Y value will be the value of P. But we're also going to have what's called a directrix. It's almost like an asymptote. The directrix is going to be at y equals the opposite of p. All right, so let's just say that value is 2. At negative 2, we would have a directrix. Why do we have a directrix? Really, the directrix, well, it's also a hyphenated line, <clears throat> more like an asymptote. If you look at the definition of, of what a parabola is, really the, the directrix is a fixed line that's not through the focus point, such that the distance from any point on this directrix to the parable is equal to from, is, is the same value from the focus to the directrix, between the directrix and the focus. All right, and you can, and all of that, if you look at the bottom of page 710, I do like to read through those. The bullet points on the bottom. So, the parabola always bends away from the directrix and toward the focus point. All right? Uh, remember, parabolas, they have an axis of symmetry such that wherever the vertex is, <clears throat> what's on the left side of that axis of symmetry is a mirror image of what's on the right side. This P value not only determines the focus and the directrix, but it determines does the parabola open up 
or does the parabola open down? So when P is greater than zero, your parabola is going to open up. It's going to be positive. Um, almost the same concept here. When the value before the x squared is a positive, remember it opened up. When the value before the x squared was negative, it opened down. <clears throat> when P is less than zero, your parabola is going to open down. The distance between the focus point and the directrix is always going to be 2P. All right, so if you were given the focus point and given the directrix, then you could figure out where the vertex is. So the distance between the vertex to the focus, this is the second to last bullet, the distance between the vertex to the focus and the distance from the vertex to the directrix is P. All right, my parabola doesn't look like this, but I'm gonna make it look like this. I'm gonna make it go through the origin. What that is saying <clears throat> is from the vertex to the focus, that is going to be the same distance from the vertex to the directrix. Such that your vertex for your parabola is going to be the midpoint between your focus point and your directrix. Well, that's the next one. The vertex is the midpoint between the focus and the directrix. Okay, this is what we're accustomed to. This is in fact a function. It passes the vertical line test. When y is squared, it is not a function because it will not pass the vertical line test. Here's, you, you've got to know this equation and you'll, you'll understand why very soon. All right, so when y is squared and x is to the first power, our vertex is going to be on the x-axis. All right, so it's going to open to the left or to the right. All right, so it's going to open left or right. So it is not going to be a function. The equation is going to be y squared equals 4px. That p is an important term, an important value. It determines our focus point and our directrix. Now, because our vertex lies on the x-axis, our focus point will lie on the x-axis. So our focus point will be p0. And then our directrix will be x equals the opposite of p. Make sense so far? Now, if p is greater than zero, it's going to open to the positive x axis. So it'll open to the right. If P is less than zero, it's going to open to the negative X axis. This case would be P is negative. All right, so how how do we figure all this out? All right, look at example one. We are given an equation. I'll leave that on the board for a minute. We're given an equation x squared plus 8y equals zero. I want it to be in something squared equals everything else on the other side. Okay, so I'm going to subtract the 8y, and we'll have x squared equals negative 8y. 
this negative eight is in the place of four P. Got it? So I'm gonna say that negative eight is really in the place of four P. So four P would equal negative eight. So four P equals negative eight, that's right. But then I have to solve for P because P gives me the focus point and the directrix. So P would equal negative two. That's correct. The value of P is negative two. All right, because X is squared, it's going to open up or down, right? Because P is negative, what's it gonna open, up or down? down. It's gonna open down. All right, so my focus point, my focus point is going to be what? Zero, it's going to open, that's right, zero, negative two. And what's my directrix? Y equals the opposite, two, yes. My vertex is still at zero. I'm gonna have a directrix up here at y equals two. My focus point is going to be down here at negative two. And my parabola will open down. Got it so far? All right, example two on page 712. All right, I'm gonna erase this so we have room to work. X is squared, open up, down. Y is squared, left or right. P determines it, right? If it's positive, it's going toward the positive Y or positive X axis. If it's negative, it's opening towards the negative X or negative Y axis. We're not gonna graph this on a calculator. We're gonna actually graph this. So Y squared equals 12 X. All right, what can I know from this? Yes. That's correct. 12 is in the place of 4P. So what's the value of P? Three. Three. All right, what else can I know? Okay, what's the focus point? Well, what? where's the vertex going to lie? X or Y axis? X because Y is squared. So what's my focus point going to be? It's going to be P three, wait, three, zero. Yes, three, zero. And my directrix will be? Negative three. What equals negative three? Mm -hmm. X. X equals negative three. All right, so if we graph that, we have our focus point. Is it gonna open left or right? Right. And the vertex is going to be at zero, zero, because we've, we've not uh, transformed any of these. Directrix is here. And it will open here. Make sense so far? All right, let's look at example three on the bottom of 712. <clears throat> All right, it says, find the focus directrix and equation of a parabola that passes through the point negative one square root of 12 and has a vertex of zero, zero. Its focus point is on the X axis. Okay, if its focus point 
is on the x-axis, then um, what is my equation going to look like? Y squared. Y squared. Focus point on x, y is squared. Y squared equals 4px. All right, I need to solve for the value of p. How do you think I'm going to solve for the value of p? This is my vertex. Yes? Could you possibly plug those coordinates? Exactly. I'm going to plug this into the equation. I have an x and a y value, and I'll solve for p. All right, so y is a square root of 12 squared equals 4p, and that's negative 1. So it just be 12 equals? That's right. 12 equals negative 4p. What is that? Negative 1. So the value of p is negative 3. All right. So what is my focus point going to be? Um, negative 3, 0. Negative 3, 0, because it's going to be on the x-axis. It's going to open left or right? Left, because P is negative. My directrix is going to be where? X equals 3. At X equals 3. And we could graph that. vertex is here. Alright, we didn't come up with the equation, did we? Alright, so we've got to come up with it. Once you solve for P, you plug it back in and get the equation. So we have Y squared equals 4 times negative 3 X or Y squared equals negative 12 X. So that would be the equation. All right. 